Woo! What's up and good morning guys. How are you? Alex here from Hoppo's with another video for you guys. And today, today marks a big milestone for us. I'm going to tell you why in a second. A few years back we've been looking at a few machines and well let's just say the timing wasn't right. Things weren't lined up yet. We didn't have this building. And well, with that being said, we have the building and the timing is right. So, the machine is actually on its way right now. Should be here like in the next 10-15 minutes. And uh, we gotta get everything prepped, ready, uh, get some room, which we've been working on. We got everything cleaned up a few days ago. Uh, the forklift truck has actually been here for the last 20, 30 minutes. He's been waiting. So that just tells you, if it's a forklift, it's gonna be something big. So I'm uh, good footage for you guys and show you guys what it is. The rigging crew coming, they're getting everything set up here. Uh, forklifts are here. We've got the big rig over here, y'all set up. Forklift number one, forklift number two. And guess what's here? We actually had a lot of things delivering today. Um, we had our new uh, spill containers get delivered as well. Those just got delivered. We also got our big propane uh, safety tank delivered, which these are a few of the things that we had to update around here, which those are here. UPS just delivered some more stuff right now. So we're getting everything prepped, getting everything ready to be removed from the container. Uh, this container literally just came straight from um, the port. This actually came from Long Beach. So getting everything set up, getting everything ready to get unloaded. Some rearranging here. We're gonna, we got out some of the machines, some of the welders here, that, all that stuff rolls. We're gonna be getting this machine moved out of the way as well. Um, if anyone wants this, this guy's actually gonna be for sale. It is not working right now. Some of the electrical components are burnt up in this thing. I'll show you guys here. So, any of you guys are familiar with this, this is burnt up. And we honestly, we just didn't have the time to source something. Plus we got two more that are functional over here. So if anyone wants this, this is a huge time saver. It's gonna be available. We're gonna get this guy moved out and they should be moving in the machine shortly. She loves some. Uh, in the club with the lights off. Could you act a shy fog? Come and show me that you're with it. With it, with it, with it, with it. Stop playing how you know that I'm with it. With it, with it, with it, with it, with it. What you act a shy fog? Just give me you, just give me you. Just give me you. That's all I wanna do. And if what they say is true, if it's true, I'm gonna Just like that, we got one delivered and getting rid of two. You guys unloaded this stuff in pretty much record time. Um, they were quick, efficient, they got it right in place, right where it needed to be. So this is machine one of three. Originally I told you guys it was one of two, but it's actually one of three. The third one is in the works right now. So we just gotta arrange shipping on the third one. Second one is being finalized right now. And this guy is a beast. It's funny because we only ever got pictures of just this, like right here, this front side. So we weren't expecting it to have this big old booty back here so this is a lot bigger than we were expecting it took up a lot more room than we were expecting so that was the reason why we got rid of uh the time saver that was here and the uh the horizontal milling or the vertical milling mill over there that we never used uh, we got both of those in auction and uh well there's one sitting outside the other one they just pulled out right now and they pretty much took them because they said we gave them a price they were happy with it they said they'll take it that they, they'll got somewhere to put it or deal with it, whatever. As long as it's out of here, we're all good with it. We're just really, really excited to have this here. This is one big step forward for us as far as fabrication. We'll be able to mass produce 
a lot of our stuff we do now and on top of that we'd be a lot more precise now the one you see behind us this is purchased through stealth laser but they also do other items like this as well so we have a lot more that we're working with them on and this is one of the toys we still got one more coming from them so i'm very very excited for the next one the next one puts this guy to shame because this one is gonna be like a little mini little miniature version of the next one the next one is huge like so huge to where we're, we're literally we're out of space here we have a lot more of the little gizmos and gadgets we have the control pedal um which i don't know oh yeah it has all the manual jogging stuff on it as well so manual upper jogging uh lower control pedals and here we have our transformer to convert it uh we're gonna be running this on 480 if i'm not mistaken this looks like some back back panels maybe maybe the back panel that goes all the way across the back side and then we also have uh, i believe some tooling in there if i'm not mistaken not sure yet haven't even opened it up so for those of you guys don't know what this is this is a cnc operated press brake as you can see <laughs> pretty obvious right but this is a big press brake um, and we did opt for a few upgrades on this thing actually i'm gonna say a lot more upgrades than we probably really need but um a few of the upgrades were the optic uh, laser eyes on here uh movable backstop all cnc controlled um movable fingers and then we also ordered and added a whole bunch of different dies on here as well this is a very exciting and scary moment at the same time and the only reason for that is because i don't know how to use this <laughs> and there's a computer involved so you know it has to be pretty technical um it might be easy who knows i'm gonna cross my fingers on that but as of right now none of us know how to work this thing we're gonna get a crash course on it real quick and then from there it's just figure it out as we go um you you won't learn unless you screw something up or break it we're gonna hope that's not the case on this one because this is gonna be a very expensive uh mistake but we have to learn so yeah i'm excited for that it's kind of the same thing that happened on the plasma the cnc plasma is back there about i'm gonna say about nine ten years ago that guy we ordered it and none of us knew how to use it. None of us knew how to run it. None of us knew how to run CAD, uh, do any type of programming or designing off of that type of software. And it showed up and it was like, wow, we got to make a payment on this thing. So you guys better hurry up and learn how to figure it out. So of course we're flipping through the manual, testing, cutting stuff. And it was not pretty the first like two days, I ain't gonna lie. After that, uh, we called uh, the guys over at Plasma Cam. They walked us through a few things from there. It was just kind of trial and error dialed it into the settings that we like and we figured it out so that's gonna be pretty much the same thing on this one even though on this one we do have a lot better guidance as far as training and stuff like that that's gonna be going into this uh stealth laser they're the ones taking care of all that for us and they're gonna be running us through a crash course on how to learn and use all this so that's a big huge step for our fabrication side of uh, our company so we're very excited for that on top of that we're very excited to have a little more room here because we got rid of those two machines this pretty much just took up that space for it so as you can tell we've been kind of working and cleaning on getting this whole area over here cleaned up that just shows you how big this next machine is i mean it's it's our biggest machine that we're going to own to date so we got a whole bunch of stuff lined up as of right now uh, we got everything taken care of at the shop I had to come over here and get a concrete drill bit because I just broke it right now. We're trying to get all the tanks lined up. Uh, we gotta drill some holes for uh, the propane holder cage. But I've been waiting here at Home Depot to unlock these. 887 for a 567 or 532nd uh, by seven inch drill bit. $8.87, it's locked up. The $115 one is not locked up. Come on, I've been waiting here for like 15 minutes. This is why I hate the way things are going nowadays. Like seriously, you're gonna steal something for $8? It's ridiculous. I've had like three guys pass me right now. I asked all three of them to unlock it. And uh, they say, let me get someone that has the key. I'm like, I'm just trying to drill a hole in concrete. I'm not trying to get spray paint to tag up the city. I hate this. This is why I do not shop at Walmart because I hate having to wait for deordering. Like that's serious. Like serious. So let's see how long this takes. So at this point right now, I'm debating of just setting off the alarm just so someone comes over here. Cause still nobody's came over here. We're gonna go for it. 
Oh, I thought this was gonna set it off. Never mind. Okay, I'm tired of waiting. I figured out if you just lift this thing up, you could actually take them all out. See? All right, that was a waste of 15 minutes of my life. So I ended up getting the the drill bits or the concrete bits uh, off myself. I figured out a way to get them off without unlocking it. Um, I cut my own chain because I was not about to wait for them for like another 15 minutes and nobody ever show up. Then I did self checkout. So now I'm wondering, do I get paid every week or do I get paid bi-weekly here at Home Depot? Because, I mean, obviously I just did all the work of the employees. Jeez. This Home Depot right here by the shop normally is pretty good. I mean, every time I've come here, it's been fairly easy. Uh, everyone's normally helping. I don't know if because I'm earlier today or something. I don't know. But today there was like 100 people working, but nobody working. It's a little irritating, but I got stuff to do. I get back to the shop. All right, time to jump on the freeway. Well, the day can't get any crazier. Just got a text from Powder Co. with some invoicing. So that means all of our stuff that's out of powder is done. So I'm actually on my way over there right now because um, surprisingly, surprisingly, well, let's just say as of right now, the Ford Lightning that we're gonna be building for SEMA, for Ford and for Chain Edition, we were supposed to actually have it a few days earlier than expected which is good and bad. It's good because we have a little more, right? we have like an extra 12 hours on it or something, which I will take. I'm not complaining about that. But that just means I'm gonna have to have this stuff done even sooner. I was hoping to have an extra day on it. Um, I was gonna come in the weekend and work this weekend, get it all pre-done and tubed and everything. But the way things are looking right now, it looks like I'm gonna have to stop what I'm doing right now and get everything all assembled, start mocking everything, start tightening up some stuff getting fittings on there and uh, getting the general layout of how this is going to get done. So once again, I'm going to get over to uh, Powder Solutions real quick, go pick up that stuff. I actually brought moving blankets this time. I did not forget. Um, and we're going to get this guy assembled. I'm excited for it. Super excited. I want to see this come together because the colors are very oddball. It's not something you normally see together, which that's that was the whole idea on it. I, I wanted something that was going to kind of stand out. So yeah, let's get over there right now. See you guys in a bit. We got boxes upon boxes back here. All the powder coats done. That is a huge relief. Thank you again for Powder Solutions and all the guys there. Um, I mean, I normally only do it with two of them, but I know there's guys in the back. Thank you guys all for all the hard work you guys put in for all of us and. Uh, I know you guys probably hate us because of uh, the time crunches we put you guys on, but we do appreciate it. Uh, it does not go unseen. So thank you guys. Now I gotta get back to the shop. Um, I only got a few hours left, but I gotta get all the stuff assembled like yesterday. So that's where the fun part gets in. So thank you guys for always liking, sharing, subscribing. We'll see you guys next time. If you guys don't already subscribe, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys have any product, hydraulic, air suspension, make sure you guys hit up our website, www.hopwasonline.com, and you'll see everything you need there. So thank you guys again. I'm out. Take care. Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Taylor, 504. For anybody that gotta know, Alex stay with fresh content, and he keep it